Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Derek with Northwest Gun Reviewers. Um, if you like our content, click the subscribe button, hit the like button down below, hit the notification bell for future videos that are coming up. Today we're doing part two of the Bagara 6.5 Creed More Wilderness um, setup that we're gonna be build that we're putting together. Now today we're gonna be mounting the base for our uh, scope. For the base, we decided to go with the EGW Remington 700 short action 20 MOA tactical mount. Now, EGW is one of my uh, favorite bases. I have used them in the past. If you watched our previous video on the Savage 112 Target Magnum taking it to 1000, EGW actually sent us out that base for um, review and to help us out with that build. Now, the one thing with the EGW base is, is it is a different style. It has a whole different setup. It doesn't have the pick rails that go completely across. Now, some people like that. Some people don't care. Now, the thing is with this, this is an extended base. As you are gonna see right here when I put this on, it is gonna go over the action. So if you have a longer scope or prefer setting your rings up more further, you can with this base. Now, it, it's, it's a love or hate relationship when it comes to that type of stuff. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how I mount my bases on my rifles and why and explain throughout the process. Now, I'm gonna double check, make sure all my holes line up and everything, which they do. Now, what's nice about EGW is they provide you the torx bit, the screws, and everything to get the job done. Now, follow the recommended torque specs, which is 20 inch pounds, and they say use blue Loctite. So, we're going to use blue Loctite, but we're going to use blue Loctite a little bit more than your normal system. Now, also nice thing about EGW is they usually send you one or two extra screws to make sure um, if you lose one, you still put your base on. Now, I like to check the screws and make sure threads are good. And to make sure they're the right size screw. So, I do this with every rifle I do. I have. Now, the way I do this is a little bit different than some people. So, just follow along. If you have any comments down below, please leave them down below, and we'll get to those. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, I recommend you guys wash the... Um, top of the receiver off with a denatured alcohol or rubbing alcohol. This doesn't really bother the finish at all. Um, put a little bit on the Q-tip. You don't need a whole lot. Just enough to go over the area where you're going to be covering up. This way it takes any lint, dirt, oils, greases, or anything like that off. Sure. Top of those, pretty good. And then I just take a dry side real quick and I go over that. So. Dries off pretty quick. Usually takes about 30 seconds, 45 seconds for it all to dry. Um, I've also been known to sit there and just go over it like this with a dry Q-tip. And this will also just dry it up, help it out just a little bit faster. As you can see, this side's actually drying quite fast. So, and that side's done, that side's clean, everybody's happy. Okay. So, now that we got that done, now on the scope base, I usually put a little bit of blue Loctite on the bottom, right in here, because when you put this down, like so, there's an air gap 
in between there. Now, when you're doing the, the blue Loctite method, it closes that air gap and gives it a buffer. Kind of like a buffer tube on an AR-15 where you don't feel the recoil. It takes the recoil out of it. Well, that little bit there takes helps with the recoil and dampering it down so it doesn't affect your scope base as much. So now that we got our scope base set up right here, the Loctite I'm using is what's called Vibatite. It's actually a gel. It's a thread locker gel. I much prefer a gel than the actual liquid. So just put a little bit on, don't need a whole lot. And then take it, hold your base, and just put this down. This will also give you reassurance of extra security on there. Make sure you get all around the edges because we can always take a little bit of alcohol and clean this up later. It's not an issue. It's not a whole, it's not going to hurt nothing. It's not going to hurt anything else. So let's put this down. And a little goes a long way. Okay, this will also help when we install this back. Now we're back on top of the receiver. We already denatured alcoholed it. Put a little bit of blue Loctite up on this. Now we're gonna align this so the screw holes are nice and even. Screw holes line up nicely. Like I knew they would. CGW, they get everything right. Um, and I put my screw right here. A little bit of thread locker on my screw. Now you can do this however you want. I usually start from the front. I just do it just so it's a little snug because we're going to go by with a torque wrench um, and do the inch pounds, which specs are 20 inch pounds. And we repeat the same process. Now I'll go back here to the front, to the rear. Get it down. So it's snug. And then now we'll do the two middle ones. This is a four screw system. EGW usually sends five, which is nice. So if you drop one, yeah, you don't have to worry about finding it. Here's our last screw going in. Okay, so they're snug. Okay. I'll show you this, guys. Back of EGW's card. Recommended using blue Loctite on mounting screws. Torque screws to 20 inch pounds. Do not go over the 20 inch pounds if you don't know what you're doing. And usually, I recommend following manufacturer spec on things. So, provide a torque spit nut. Here's my Wheeler fat wrench. We have it set to 20 inch pounds. Now you can go Front to back, in front, rear front, your call, or you can start from the outside. I prefer starting on the outside. Oh, hear the click. 
Torque spreads have been me. Little twist. Torque spreads have been me. Okay. Torque spreads are down. Let's double check it again. Double check, triple check, quadruple check, however you feel. I usually double or triple. Now, get the action, see your action moves, we're good to go. Okay guys, that's it for part two of the uh, Bagara 6.5 Wilderness setup. Catch us back here on part three when we mount the scope. Thanks guys for watching, like, share, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.